basically, uh, I want to show you guys how to use the um, text string function on external keyboard helper. Uh, I'm going to start with my keyboard layout that I've been working with, custom 2. And what you want to do is you want to go down the same way that you do application shortcuts. Uh, go to advanced settings, uh, keyboard mapping, and then instead of going to the application shortcuts that you created using those 16 of your favorite um, apps, we're going to start with string uh, text strings, which configures text strings that can be used in place of characters. So you can pick like a whole word, or even like a sentence, or even like a hyperlink, and uh, using like a short shortcut, for instance, like you know. Uh, a shift T. In this case, I used uh, text string shortcuts. I used uh, T1, just like in an application, so you're going to have to memorize which one you use. So uh, for T1, I'm going to put down text, and then for T2, T2 I'm going to put down string. And uh, once you're done with that, you go, you can say whatever you want to, but then you have um, a lot of options you can basically um, uh, set up about. Uh, 16 different uh, text strings of your choice, so it'd be kind of like a, a custom, like copy and paste type of deal. So then I'm going to press save, got to make sure of that. And then um, once you're done with that, you go to custom keyboard mappings. And uh, we'll um, work with this one really quick. Now, if you see that the uh, the 20 is a T, I believe the 20 is T, and it says one and a gray button, that means that uh, that's T1. So I uh, did the scan code, and I'll change it just for the for prosperity's sake, uh, T. So that's T is 20 in scan code. And I wanted to, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted, but T. Got to be very careful about that. And then I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to make it shift T to uh, launch that particular uh, word text and um, you can integrate these type of uh, key mappings with uh, uh, application shortcuts and as well as um, uh, basically other stuff like that so I'll have it as shift T do text say text on it and then um, for 31 uh, I used uh, T2 that 31 is B is a boy uh, uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's actually, let me change, let's change that really quick, it's S. No, I'm sorry, it's S, because we're doing string, we're trying to match the first alphabetic uh, letter uh, in the in the uh, text string format. So like if I have text, it will be T, then string will be S. That's how I think of it. And I'll make it easy for myself, I'll put it under Shift S. It has the uh, unit code right there is uh, 0x2402. Press save. And uh, now I'm going to show you how it works in the application. In the application, so I'm going to go and launch, uh, which I have a shortcut for is uh, calc tape. So I did scroll down a little bit. I was going to erase it just to show you, but actually I was practicing this a little bit like that. So if I want to do, uh, write the, instead of like typing in text, I can just do it through like a, a hotkey, like two, two keys. So I'm going to do a shift T and there it goes. It comes out as a uh, text. And then if I want to do string, it's going to be a shift S. So shift S. And if you do it as much as you want, you know, you can keep going like this. Um, as an example, I don't think it's advised to do that, but you know, you could, uh, you know, you could do, you, if you're typing out some docu or you're typing out documents or you're doing some online forms, it really helps to have maybe your uh, name, last name, um, as a as a uh, uh, text string. It can make it a lot easier than typing your name constantly through the forms of like you know uh, applications of any sort and stuff like that. So I'm just going to control all get rid of this. And that's pretty much how you